Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So the other day I picked up the Army Builder 4-pack set. And honestly, the, the only figure I really, really wanted out of that set was this, the Generic Seeker. Um, the Auto Trooper is probably the second, but the other two, you know, it, it's not exactly high on my want list. Um, but this guy, the Generic Seeker, was... Um, and, you know, for the price, it was, I think, 77 for the set, uh, which basically you have a Voyager and three Deluxes, which is a pretty good deal, uh, in my opinion. But um, if you only wanted this guy, it's probably not really a great deal. But uh, thankfully, there were uh, multiple, um, I guess, Target offers that I was able to get the price down to 60 um, and then, of course, some circle points, etc. So, yeah. So this is a Target exclusive, and I gotta say, the promotional pictures for this guy really doesn't do it justice. Um, you know, at first when I saw it, it looked so close to Thundercracker, and uh, I guess in color. But then, you know, here's Thundercracker with um, toy hacks uh, stickers on him. And I gotta say, the color difference is is there, and it it, it looks good. It looks in, in person. I, I hope it comes across it over the video. Um, the colors really match um, the generic seeker from the cartoon that uh, we saw ages ago, and it is much different in tone than uh, Thundercracker, as you can see here. So very cool that we got this army builder uh figure would have been nice though if it was by itself but then you know if it was by itself it would be at the regular voyager price so I, I don't know i guess i gotta look uh if there's other things i can do with the other deluxes um definitely an auto trooper um even though it's based on iron hide which is a mold that we got several times um it is somewhat wanted but again mainly this guy so i like the colors really matches well and just side by side with thundercracker you can see they are not the same and i guess the promo pics kind of maybe it would have been better i don't know maybe it's just because it's not next to anybody else it's hard to uh, tell that there is a big color difference between the two but let's put Thundercracker aside and take a closer look at the generic seeker here. Yeah, there's no smirk on the face like uh, I think Starscream had that smirk or was it Skywarp? I can't remember. It would have been nice if the eyes were a little more obvious. I mean, it's, you know, even with Thundercracker, it's not like that, but still. I like this sculpt. I mean, the Seeker sculpt, uh, to me, this is the best uh, mainline Seeker sculpt uh, that represents G1 that we ever got. Better than, the, I, I like it a lot more than the classics. Um, and I guess that was probably the last Seeker mold that was representative of G1 that we got. I mean, I know we got some from Combiner Wars, but those were more modern. Uh, leader class uh, remakes or I don't know reimaginings I guess not going to go too much into the figure as this is a mold that has been reviewed many times and it's really just a repaint so I'm just going to get this guy into his jet mode so we can take a look at him there here's the Decepticon Seeker in jet mode and it cleans up pretty well I mean the Decepticon symbols, not as apparent as I'd like it to be, but I mean, that's the issue with, I guess, all of them. And uh, of course, Toy Hacks has a solution for that. Well, I'm assuming they will. But uh, yeah, pretty much your stylized F-15 type of uh, jet fighter. And here he is next to Thundercracker. And see the color difference is very apparent which is awesome in my opinion again really this video is just to showcase 
Thundercracker next to the generic Seeker because from the promo pics, it didn't look all that different, at least to me. But having them hand uh, in hand, side by side next to each other, you can uh, see the differences between the two. Anyway, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And thanks for watching.